going on, peeps? I just wanted to um, give you an update on that food plot turkey hunt this morning. Um, again, I uh, I film all this stuff on my channel with uh, my cell phone. Like I said, one of these days we'll get a good camera and maybe do a little bit better at it. But uh, for now, it is what it is. But I ended up getting two turkeys this morning. After I shot that first one on film, another group came through. And I took one out of that group. Um, my phone died, so I couldn't get that on film. I couldn't get the recovery on film. I was actually going to do that. But um, anyway, I'm going to show you. I just switched over to using the 150 grain Swacker. The three inch cut cut in diameter rod head. Thing's unbelievable. Um, I just started using it and I've killed four turkeys with it. Um, so on turkeys it's devastating. Um, I'm looking forward to shooting a deer with it. Hopefully that's gonna happen. I wanna show you this hole. It's a little gruesome, so anybody that doesn't wanna see this, look away. But I just wanted to show you the hole it made. So there's the exit hole right there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see if we can get that. That's the exit hole. I mean, it took off his wing. There's the other birds I shot. I don't know if you can see that or not, but three inch swacker. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see if I can get some more light on it or something. I mean, it literally, it literally took that turkey's crop right out. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with that. That so far, it flies good, deploys every time so far. I've never really had a problem with mechanical broadheads anyway. I've always used them in my compound and my crossbow, and I've had nothing but good luck with mechanicals. Anyway, so. Yeah, I'll show you the two, two birds again. A hen and a, and a, actually a really big Jake Polt. Must have been an early born chick. Because he's pretty good size for this time of year. But um, I, we must have 100 turkeys hitting our plot. I mean, they're just pounding it right now. I actually uh, planted a smaller one the other day, fourth plot to add to our little area there, and uh, turkeys came right in and wiped out all the seed I put down, so they need to be thinned. Anyway, um, stay tuned to some more videos. Hopefully we can get a couple of deer kills on film. I'm not real serious about filming, just kind of doing this when I can or when I have the opportunity, but I'm going to try to get a little better at it and see what we do. Have a good one.